I don't think it'll ever come out on broadcast television. No, Be- because it's obsolete. Like w- when I said that shark was evergreen, down the valley is not. Down the valley ends with that triumphant celebration in the in the middle of downtown Sacramento, um, celebrating the fact that you guys merely had a team. It was it was like an NBA final championship championship celebration just because you had a team that was playing basketball in your city still. And that's what I loved about the city and about the story, is that you were just celebrating the fact that the Kings were still a part of your community. Um, but that's not the case anymore. I mean, it, it, you guys still have a lot of pride in the Kings, clearly, but this triumphant new owner coming in and, yeah. and the, the new arenas opening up and that this is the dawn of a new day. I mean, th- th- as you know, you guys are still going through a lot of stuff year in and year out, and I doubt that. I doubt that Vivek would be as cheered as he was at that, that parade back in uh, 14 or 15. Was it 13? 13. 13, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Maybe, it can be, maybe it can be back added on to when they win a championship. It's like part of the story <laughs> is use that to the championship parade. Honestly, the 30 for 30 being being shelved is part of the, the shakespearean yeah. of this really franchise. Is. It's become very meta. I will say this. So I don't think it's ever going to be broadcast for, for the reasons why it was shelved in the first place and because, as I said, it's obsolete. But I will say this. I would gladly, I, I hope I'm there when this happens. I would love for a collection of diehard Kings fans to be able to understand the context and put themselves back in that moment in 2013 and to watch that as a group somewhere in Sacramento as a family. 